All right, so guys, today, Season of Dawn is kicking off inside of Destiny 2. Right here, we have some updates from Bungie, some important notices about the new content. And that does include warnings about error codes, but also information about new quests that we'll be getting, how we're going to use the obelisks and the sundials together in order to get some new rewards, and details about the new title Seal Savior, which is a pretty cool title right there. And some other general patch notes and things to be aware of as we go into this content drop. So we're going to break it down in this video, guys. But if you are new around here, be sure to get subscribed as I will be keeping the channel posted with all of the important details for the content this season. But otherwise, let's get into it. So... Quick shout right here, I probably won't be posting a normal reset video at the launch of the content today. And of course that's because we'll be getting access to a bunch of new content that we'll have to sort of figure out. And so I thought for the moment, it would probably be more useful to post this one. Bungie Help have put out a series of notifications and things to be aware of. So they say before Season of Dawn launches on December 10th, when servers come back online, we want players to be aware of certain issues and information before logging in the first time. So some players may encounter a chicken error when logging in for the first time after update 2.70. And of course, server queues, error codes and things like that are always a potential problem when you have a big content drop. So hopefully we'll work through any problems that there are pretty quickly. Here though, Bungie start to get into some of the content stuff. So players must have linked an obelisk to the sundial to receive rewards at the end of the activity. And Robbie Stevens from Bungie gives some extra information on precisely how this is going to work. So he says before your first sundial run, a new quest will teach you how to link an obelisk to the sundial. The quest will start as a milestone and will be automatically granted to you when logging in. He does add that you have to complete the quest in order to access the six player activity. And it says via that quest, your first obelisk will already be linked up. Just don't reset the link before your first run. So some pretty interesting mechanics that we're getting a bit of a tease to right there. He also says that there will be a variety of rewards to chase on obelisks and in the sundial. And he is being intentionally vague because they want players to discover the rewards firsthand. However, he does clarify that we're going to get the new seasonal artifact via a quest. So that gives us a bit of a heads up as to how some of the content is going to work. And maybe Sundial will be sort of similar to Menagerie in that you can pick your rewards. And maybe that's where the obelisks actually factor in, right? It seems reasonably likely that pairing a particular obelisk to the Sundial will probably influence the loot table and the pool of rewards you can actually get for that completion. Nonetheless, I will be keeping you posted later on today with all of the precise details for how that works. Back to the Bungie help list though, they do say that the season of the undying seasonal currency will not be deleted from the postmaster when the season ends, so players can manually delete this currency. For Season of Dawn content though, the seal for the Savior title incorrectly lists a requirement of 28 triumphs completed to unlock, but the seal will actually unlock after completing the 15 triumphs listed in the seal contents. So bear that in mind if you want to start working towards that title. And once again, Savior is a pretty cool one if you ask me. They do point out that standing in front of the obelisk does mean that you can be killed by enemies. I'm not sure whether that's a bug or whether they're actual enemies spawning out of the obelisk or something. But here for a final couple of updates, progress may not count towards the A Matter of Time quest step if players return to orbit too quickly after completing the Sundial activity. Additionally, the shields of barrier champions will not disappear if a player is using Divinity. So that sounds like a bug that affects the player if they've actually got that weapon equipped. And they do finish by saying that the following Season 9 triumphs will be fixed in a future update and requirements will be lowered. So challenges won't progress with weekly challenge completion, rituals won't progress with weekly gambit bounties or infamy ranks, and engagement won't progress with banked moats. And so those are the titles of specific seasonal triumphs that at launch will not be working as intended. And so really, bear all of the items in this list in mind. When it comes to the obelisk and that new piece of content, be sure to complete the initial quest to gain access to the sundial. And remember, you do have to pair one of these obelisks either on the Tangled Shore or Mars in order to get rewards, just like you need to slot runes in the chalice in order to get drops in the menagerie, right? And so guys, once again, for today, this will probably replace the reset video because there are a lot of things I need to work out before I can put a good reset video out, but I will be able to keep you posted on the sundial, any new quests and exotics and things that pop up today. And then of course, through the course of the week, I'll have more content about the new loot tables, the artifact, sandbox stuff, and pretty much anything else I can keep you posted with. So be sure to get subscribed once again here on the channel if you are new. But if you found this video useful, a like rating below is very much appreciated. Let us know what you'll be playing in Season of Dawn first later on today. But otherwise, guys, thanks as always for tuning in. I hope you have fun with the new season. And whatever you get up to, I hope you have an awesome day.